own authority. You cannot be given power to exercise authority. It will be illegal. Uh, if you cannot understand this, uh, you will struggle a lot in life. You can never be a teacher if you have never been a student. That is something you need to understand. You can never be a, be a leader if you have never been led. So you must be led first. And then after you go through the right process, you are able to become a leader also. A, a student goes through a process and later the process that the student goes through makes him a teacher or process that someone who is led goes through a process and the, after the process, this person also becomes a leader. So, if you don't understand authority and you don't understand what is happening, you will abort the process. You will not be ready to follow the process. You will not be ready to submit to the authority and be able to follow the process that you need to follow. And when you move out of the process and you cannot endure it, you don't come out to be what you wanted to be in life. You cannot become something that you wanted to become in life. You cannot become somebody that you wanted to become in life. So you have to follow process. You have to follow the, the, the due process. When you follow the due process, you can get to the place where you are supposed to be. But some people are not ready to follow process. You are not ready to follow process. You are not ready to follow the right things in life. You want some ways that are crooked to become something. You want not to go through the truth process. You want to go through something else and then become, graduate and become a teacher. You don't want to follow the right way. If you cannot be a product of the process, you will be rejected by systems. You will be rejected by systems and you will not be able to perform and you will not be able to deliver and you will not be able to do what you are supposed to do. So it is always wise and advisable to each one of us that you become humble, you become submissive, you submit to the authority, you are ready to follow the process so that you become what you are supposed to become. All what you are seeing, all the systems you are seeing are operating and doing some things in life. They are, they are manifest of certain processes. They were able to follow some processes and this changed and turned their lives around. Say amen. I say say amen. So some people are not humble enough to allow or to complete the course. You are both this in the middle. I always say this. The reason why problem keeps on coming, the same type of challenge in your life, is because you are not able to graduate or you are not able to achieve the outcome that was required. So you never learn. So you can overstay in some things. And God, God will never do, uh, do you a favor of making you avoid the right process that will make you. And salvation and to accomplish the mission by avoiding the cross. And he said, I know all things are possible with you. That's Jesus telling God. Now, because it's possible, <laughs> you can also take away this cup from me, the death, to avoid the cross. But he realizes, no. One of the things I needed to go through is a process. My life is a process that I have to accomplish something by going through this process. It is by going through process that you are processed. And if you are not processed, you cannot earn value. 
value comes because of what you have gone through. Some of us have gone through small things. Some of us have gone through big things. Now when it comes to the time of rewarding, when some people open mouth and speak, others keep quiet. Because you realize you have nothing to say. So, I want you to understand, you need to be humble that you can go through what God wants you to go through. Things that are ordained for you. And you need to have a revelation. This is how God works. If you don't have a revelation, you will struggle. You will have struggle to understand that and to, to keep yourself in line with what the Lord wants. May God help us. I say, may God help us. So this man did not only understand authority. He was a man under authority. And that is why he was able to exercise authority. Authority is exercised by men and women who are under authority. Now, let us see this, and I, be, I believe God will help you to understand. The president of this nation, he is the senior most man in this land. But I want you to understand something else. He is under authority. He governs according to rule. So, he cannot break the rule. That is why there is constitution. He cannot arise and do things outside the governing rules. That is the constitution. So he is a man of authority, but he is under authority. That is why he can exercise authority. All men. I said all men who wishes to exercise authority must be under authority. Be afraid of a man who is not an authority. Be afraid of a man who is not under authority because he can do anything to you. Because he fears nothing. He fears nothing. And I want to say this. One of the things that to show that you are humble and you are a good person is when you are able to stay under the authority of another man. A man who has authority than you and you can bow and hear what this person says. When you hear a person say, I fear nobody except God. And I am under nobody except God. Run away from that man. It's a dangerous man. Man who cannot be canceled by anybody. Man who has God as his only father. There is no any other father on earth. There is no any other authority he fears. The Bible says all authorities are instituted by God and they come from God. So God has what we call delegated authorities. And that is why we have to honor authority. When we say honoring authority, it does not mean that when wicked power comes in rule, we have to submit to that because it is an authority. We submit to authority which is right. Right means it, this is authority is under another authority which is right authority. Not something that is happening contrary. So you are supposed to be humble as a man to be able to be under another man for your life to begin to prosper and for you to shape up your destiny. If I'm talking to somebody, I want to hear amen. So this man understands the authority of Jesus, understands his own authority. And what did Jesus translate this? He says, I have never found such a great 
day. I have not found such a great faith, not even in Israel. So it's translated as faith. So this man also, and great faith. Great faith. So you are supposed to have great faith for you to be able to remove limits out of your life. Now, look at this. After the friends went home to report that they have told Jesus not to come, here we see something. They found the servants well who had been sick. So the world traveled faster than men. <laughs> the world traveled faster than men. And now, in some cases, when person speaks, Jesus told them, let it be done to you as you have said or as you have believed. In this case, Read the Bible with me. Jesus just says, when Jesus heard this, he was amazed. Turning to the crowd, he said, I tell you, I haven't seen. This is God speaking. He has, he has not seen. I haven't seen faith like this. Even in the land of Israel. Does he say anything? <laughs> no. He did not say, let the servant get well. He just said, I have not seen such faith. Just faith being seen. Problem is solved. Show God faith. I want to tell you, all troubles will come to an end. Why are we limited? We are not being able to show him. Faith is something that not what you feel alone. Let me come nearer you. It is something you are able to show. People are able to see that faith. God is also is able to see that faith. If you can demonstrate it, your problem is over. I say if you are able to show your faith, your challenges are over. Your challenges, your problems, all what has been wrong with your lives, Show him faith. I want to tell you for sure. All those challenges will come to an end. If only you can show him faith. Am I talking to anybody here? If you are able to show him faith, even without him speaking, your faith, when you show it, is able to bring solutions to all the problems that people may be facing at that particular time, what God needs is your faith. He needs you to show or demonstrate your faith. When the men in Acts chapter 2, they carried a paralytic man and they brought him unto Jesus. And when they brought him unto Jesus, Jesus looked unto their faith when they were dropping the man from the roof. And then he said to the one that was paralyzed, take your mat and walk. He saw the faith of the people who were dropping. And when he saw that faith, he immediately commanded the situation.
to change. Because what God needs from you to bring things the way you want them to be and to remove the limits in your life, he need faith. I said he need faith. And when he is able to get faith from you, he is able to perform everything that you desire him to perform in life because he has seen your faith or there is faith that he can move him into action. So most of the time, we are not able to show our faith. That is why some situations remain the same. They are not changed because we are not able to show our faith. We are not able to demonstrate or to show our faith. And this is causing uh, a lot of problems in our lives. Now, when you look at the same story given in the book of Luke chapter 5, especially from verse 17, it is giving us what is recorded in chapter 2 of Mark, again about the paralytic. But what amazes me when I read verse 17, the Bible says one of those days as he was teaching, there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by who had come from every village and of town uh, 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 and town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present with him to heal them. Now look at this. The power of God was present to heal them. Pharisees are there. People had come. The power was present to heal them. But do you think they got healed? No. They didn't get healed. It is only the paralytic who was healed. And we see what the men went through to put him. And when Jesus saw their faith, he told the man, you are seen are forgiven. These people now started to argue. Who is this who has the power to forgive sin? Then Jesus asked, which is one is easier? Is your sin are forgiven? Or take your mat and go. So he said, so that you know the Son of Man has authority here on earth. Then he said, speak your mat and go. And a man picked the mat and walked. That is authority. Faith and authority, they are here. Working together. Faith gives you authority. So, Jesus can never demonstrate his authority where there is no faith. 